So you're thinking about aerating your lawn, and I'm going to show you how you can do it. And before you run off to one of the rental centers to rent your aerator, I'm going to show you some of the prep work that you need to do first. This way you can save some time and money. Now a lot of people aerate their lawn in the fall. Some people also aerate it in the spring. Fall is usually the best time. That's when the ground is nice and cool, the grass is nice and full, and it's a good time to put seed down after. The thing you need to do is you have to mow your lawn first before you aerate. This way, the aerator can penetrate the dirt a lot easier. And after you mow, if you don't have a bagger, you're going to have to use a leaf blower and blow all the lawn clippings off the lawn. Once you do that, if you have a sprinkler system, you want to turn it on and you want to mark every single sprinkler head with one of these flags. These flags are very inexpensive and if you run over one of these sprinkler heads you're going to destroy it. So it's worth doing. Okay, once you get your aerator you're going to need a truck or a minivan or something to transport to your house. At the store they'll help you load the aerator but when you get it home you're on your own so the best thing you can do is build a ramp or have another person help you unload it. Also, if you haven't done so already, these side weights off, just pull the clip up and pull the weight out. They're very heavy, and there's two of them, one on each side, and it's worth removing. Then you can lower the aerator using the ramp, or if you have two people, you can pick it up and pull it off the truck. Okay. Then once you have it on the ground, it's time to put the weights back in. You're going to need these weights. This way the tines can penetrate the lawn a little deeper. So we'll just push those in. And then we'll lower the lever and it'll lock in place. Okay, to start it, you flip this lever to the on position. Then over on the other side, there's a choke. We'll turn the choke on, make sure the fuel's on. And then we'll pull the cord. It should start right up. Then we'll turn the choke off. Then up above here, there's two sends. There's a turtle setting and a rabbit setting. Depending on what speed you want. So we'll put this on the rabbit setting. Now you notice there's tines right here. Those tines are going to dig into the lawn and to get them to lower you have to push this bar down. It's the lower bar. It's a little hard to push down. Push it down. Then there's the lever up above. You pull that back and it'll start going. Now having it on the rabbit speed is a little fast. We'll have to slow it down a little bit. Once you pull the lever it takes off a little harder than mowing the lawn but the good part is you don't have to make perfect rows like you would when you're mowing the lawn but when you want to turn sometimes you have to pull the tines up you have to move the aerator which is extremely heavy lower the tines and then continue in another direction okay so let's check this out now here's some of the cores that came out they're a good size half inch, three quarters of an inch. But if you need extra weight, there's this drum in the front that you can add water to. You take the plug out, take a garden hose, and you can fill it up with water. But you want to fill it up when the opening is at the top, otherwise you'll only be able to fill it halfway. So your best bet is to move the aerator back, have the opening at the very top, and then continue to fill it with water. And this is definitely worth doing. This will make sure that the tines dig deeper into the lawn. Then we'll put the cap back on. And then we'll go and flip that to the on position. We don't need the choke because we already started it and just pull the cord and it starts right up. Okay, get in position. And you'll notice it'll just turn if you don't lower the tines, but we'll lower them by pushing the bar down 
and we'll start aerating. Now a lot of aerators you have to do rows and then lift the tines and then try and move the aerator which is extremely heavy and then you have to lower it and then you pull the lever and it starts going but this aerator is a turn and go it basically you can just do large figure eights or I like to make ovals and just keep working my way closer and closer to the house and it's okay if you go over the lawn a few times you don't have to make perfect rows and if you make more holes in the lawn it's even better you'll definitely benefit from it you'll be able to get more fertilizer into the soil or more seed into the soil then you can make multiple passes now this is a back breaking job to do so if you can rent an aerator that's a turn in place it's definitely worth doing. And then when you're ready, just flip it to the off position to turn it off. And we'll check out some of the cores again. So if you see here, we've got some larger cores. That's because we added the extra weight. I also want to add having the lawn slightly wet actually makes the aerator work a lot better. And those cores you want to leave on the lawn. They'll break down as you water the lawn. It will be like adding extra dirt to the top of the lawn. Okay, and then when you're done using this aerator, it's time to clean it. Because if you send it back as is, they might charge you a fee. So you want to empty this drum full of water and then spray it down with a hose. When I return the aerator, they checked it over to make sure it was spotless. So definitely make sure you clean it. And then put this plug back in once it's emptied. And then before you load it back in the truck, make sure you take these weights out. And this time I added a third board to the ramp. Figured it'd be a little safer and just able to start it up and drive it right on to the truck. And there we go. After a week, here's what the lawn looks like. It's looking good. I add some extra seed. Hopefully it'll grow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, think about subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep you up to date on all my future videos. And leave a comment about what you liked or what you didn't like. Thanks again for watching.